Hey guys, my name is Cediac and welcome back to another episode of Dead End here in City Skylines where we continue the expansions. Last episode, we added some more industrial to the brand new version of Crude. Today, I want to add a few more stuffs in. I also want to set up some future planning for an additional cargo line on the opposite side of the river. But today, I want to take a look at mail. And when I say mail, I mean post. And when I say post... I mean letters, and when I say um, I can continue this forever, guys. Uh, postman, mailman, wherever you're in the world right now, we need to look at this kind of service. Now, this is something that I never, ever, ever utilize or implement in any city I've ever built. This is going to be the first time I've ever included mail into a city, solely because I don't understand the purpose of it. <laughs> like, like I get it, I get it. I get the purpose, people get mail delivered, but I don't understand the purpose of in city skylines. Like, does it increase desirability? Is it treated as another service? Those people are currently swimming in the water right now, what is going on? I do not know. That is what we're going to find out today. So if you guys do enjoy this and want to see more of Dead End here in City Skylines, then make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're new in here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when the next episode does come out. But this is what we, we kind of played around with. We started to build, and it's kind of like a little bit of a deep ditch uh, right there, uh, some industrial over this side within Crude, because Crude is slowly starting to get bigger and bigger. And we are not far off 100,000 residents as well, which is really, really important. Our little cargo airport, since we kind of fixed some of the changes, these, this is pretty weak, but it kind of still works. Trains are coming in and out. Everything is going hunky-dory, boys. It really is. So, postal services then. It falls under this category down here, post offices. And again, I truly do not understand the post. If someone can explain to me, is there any benefit from getting them in? Please let me know in the comment section down below. But to implement them, that's something else as well. I don't even know <laughs> where you even gonna get them from. Um, is it to do with in here? A UIT? No. A UIT? Road tolls, road condition, winter stuff. Is I mean, what does it fall under? The postal services. I always thought was it in roads? Road condition. I always thought it could have been within roads. No. Does it fall under this? No. Public services? Do you fall under this? Tours? Public transport? Um, see, this is what I mean. I have no freaking idea to where you find the postal services. This goes to show you how... Oh, is this it here? Oh my goodness me, there we go. That goes to show you, right, how... How much I've not utilized, utilized it, never used it. It just goes to show how ridiculous this is. So there's two building variations. We have the post office and we have the um, post sorting facility. So the post sorting facility is large trucks collect the mail from local post offices and takes it to the post sorting facilities. There the mail is sorted into batches for delivery to the addresses uh, locally and outside the city. Okay. Then we have the normal post office, which is a post office offers mail related services such as acceptance and delivery of letters and parcels. Each post office maintains a small flat, small flat, small fleet of post vans that collect and distribute mail locally. So these post offices we're going to have uh, in the majority of all the towns and then we'll have the sorting offices kind of either slightly out of the town or we create like a nice little depot nearby or something like that. That could be interesting. So I don't think it increases land value, desirability. I don't really know. But it's a service that I've never utilized. And I feel like the residents of Dead End, they need to send letters. Forget text messages. Forget emails right now. They're going to send love letters because, you know. Or parcels. They can send parcels. I forgot about that. So, right. I think Oxbrook would probably be like the perfect little mini town to in kind of incorporate the, the sorting facility. We have just over here the Modern Art Institute kind of place. We have over there the large cinemas right just in the outskirts of there. But I think around here, because this is the road here, we can implement that in. Where was it again? It was here. 
So this um, sorts 8,000 pieces of mail per week. We probably need a lot more than that. So we're going to create like a nice little depot of some sort. So in terms of connections to the highway, they can drive down this road straight there on they get or down here on they get just there. So there's no issues with getting to and from certain areas. So like I said, this should be it should be a pretty decent place to be honest with you. So if I came down by by uh, I go 15. Now let's stick it to 10. 10's fine. And we're going to cross by 10 and so going down, if I did like an 8x8 eight eight to kind of create like a little bit of a bend. There we go. And then took it straight in. I can kind of utilize this. Actually, no. Rather than straight in, I'll create it as its own little facility. That's what I'll do. I'll create it as its own little facility right now. So bring in this. And actually, let me pause it because it looks like I'm going to chop down some power lines right now. Uh, bring you up by 10. And bring you up by 10 as well. So let's just go for this for now. I got it and paused. And I'm going to drop a couple of these little buildings down. I don't know how much. I've never utilized it. So I don't know how many buildings we're going to need. But 8,000 mail a week. For a 100,000 capacity city. Interesting. Very interesting. So if I did one. Oh, I see. I feel like I need to uh, go a little bit further down. So if I did. Right. One there. Did that one there. Then I can extend and expand my road accordingly. Right, can I go... Oh, it's really not going to play ball, is it? Right there. And I'll just go up by five. So it looks like I'm actually doing something. <laughs> go there to there with two of those buildings just like that. I could come down here by, by ten. Let me delete all this. There we go. So it is a little bit funky, a little bit awkward, but I kind of like I like that kind of style. I don't want to dig too much into the um, the path. I want to keep it as it is. But this is what I like. I'm going to then... So going across to about there is a 12. So there to a... So if I pick here, I'm hoping that this is the marker point needed. No. I was close, though. I was close, so it's not that. I'm going to go down by two more. Right, there we go. So I went down a little bit more than I needed to, but that will do. That will do right now. It's nothing fabulous. It's nothing fancy. I don't need that anymore. Um, where's this going? So it doesn't connect over there, but I need it to connect over to here. So this, I can get it to run just to there. That, I'll get it to run just to there. And then we're all back up and running. The only thing it probably doesn't have is water, which, yep. There we go. la -de da So that's 32,000 pieces of mail it can kind of sort out in these depots, right? These facilities. So it shows you... Oh, wait, hold on. Unsorted mail. Wait, what did that say? Eight, five, oh, it's per week. It is per week. So, yeah, it's how much you can store. So, we can store up to basically a million mail. Half a million for unsorted and a half a million for sorted. So, that's quite a lot with these four facilities. It really is. So, that means then I need to place down these post offices in various locations, right? Each little town needs a post office of some kind. So I'm going to pull it like in little areas that will be really, really handy. So these little post offices right now, right in this junction where they cross over from the train station, that's the perfect location for it. So sorted mail. So we've got 48,000 sorted mail. Okay. And that can actually store quite a bit too. So that's interesting. So if I've got one there then, which will kind of obviously supplement this area, we'll come back and... Oh, you can see the mail trucks now driving around. What do they look like? They're little blue mail vans. Nice. So once I start adding it to other areas, then we'll start utilizing these because they can then sort it and take it to where they need to get to. So I think somewhere like Tumbleweed could really benefit with maybe two on one on both ends. So if I implemented, say, like this one just here near the train station, that would probably be for that kind of side right now. And I'll throw one in just here near all of the um, the kind of taller buildings for this side. So two nearby, 
but they serve both sides, which should be fairly useful. We'll have one over in Brown Town right now. I'm going to pull it just on the corner. I'll utilize this corner. So space already occupied. What's it already occupied by? Ah, police station. That makes sense. Okay, that's a residential building there, which I can kind of quickly steal. Boom. There we go. There we go. So we're already starting to see then the mail. You can, you can kind of tell the mailman's drove around <laughs> based on all of that. Interesting. So we'll get one set up in crude. And I'm thinking... Hmm. I'm thinking... Hang on, where's the, what's the zoning like around here? Do you reckon that's the center? Or do you reckon over here is kind of central? I think I've got to go around here, haven't I? That would probably be the better option for me. I'll, I'll throw it on the inside just there. So that will kind of supplement the crude area. And how's Oxbrook right now? It's kind of hilarious. Now we're getting in for the first time. You can kind of see, you can literally see where the vehicles have driven. Right, we'll get one in drought. Um, for drought, hmm. I don't think it needs to be near public transport the majority of the time. But if I put it near the park area, that means a lot of these guys will walk through the park to get to it, which could then supplement some more revenue. Um, one for flood. I mean, I know I got two for tumbleweed. One for flood or two for flood. I can do them both sides, which will be pretty mighty fine. Right, one there. No, ah, get one over here. Right, that's, yeah, that is probably a really, really good idea. Because we got the uh, the university nearby, so people can mail stuff. And I get it on this path just down there, that road, sorry. Uh, one either side just there, which will be fairly useful. Uh, for last chances right now, I'm going to get it up near here. So I'm going to kind of steal one of these buildings. Steal it just there. It'll be good for them. Uh, Lost Pieces is going to need one right now. Oh, there seems to be a lot of traffic down here in Lost Pieces. I'll get it just over here, kind of slightly out of the way. Not much zoning going on. What seems to be the issue? Oh, I, I for completely forgot about these pumping trucks. Are they still pumping? Right, where's my pumping facility? It's this one, isn't it? Right, pumping service. I'm going to delete it. And I've still got two up here as well. So we no longer need them. We no longer need them so they can skedaddle out of here. So allow everyone to kind of freely now drive around. Oh, okay. Hold on. No, 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 no. I do pol I apologize so refusely right now. It looks like we do kind of need these pumping services. I think it was only for that little section, right? Oh my goodness me. Yo, Siniac. You kind of do need those pumping services. Oh, unless it's because that road was kind of so dipped down. I think I need to elevate this to allow it to flow out a bit more. Hmm. Unless... Let's get rid of you a sec. Oh, that brush size. I pump this out a bit more. Just to kind of create more of, an, of a bank in the water. That should hopefully see us through. I do apologize, guys. I didn't realize you actually needed those pumping services. <laughs> We should be okay for now, though. So, mail place now in. Uh, one for our rancho right now. And we'll squeeze it within the center. There's a little bit of a path walking across there, so I'll kind of quickly steal that building. Nice. So, granted, it does have to kind of take all the mail over to the sorting facilities up here. But th that, that's, that's what it is, unfortunately. That is just what it has to be. So, we'll get a mail... Uh, post office within um, Port Exporter. I'm thinking more down here by the school. Or oh, I squeeze it just there between those two buildings. Because we've got these kind of singleized buildings right now, which is kind of handy. So that'll be kind of interesting. I wonder, can mail be transported via train? Do you reckon that's possible? I don't actually know. I don't know. So the only place really left right now where there's residence is Lost Wages. That's the only place where there's residents. You guys start to see all the blue now coming together as they're slowly dropping off the mail. That's really cool to see, isn't it? Um, right. Oh, I think a couple of uh, mail vans might have drove all the way down here. So we might need a couple then in Lost Wages right now. We might need a couple. So if I kind of start by dropping one just here. We'll do one just over here right now. Over there. I'll do one just in the middle just here. 
And for this little kind of side town section, we'll drop one just there. So there's four in lost wages. Could be. I don't know if I've got enough, but that should be fairly handy. Oh, there we go. You can start to see the amount of uh, blue mail vans right now. So this will kind of give us an indication from the get-go if these are going to be enough. And so far, none of these have sorted mail over 10,000. So I think it's going to be handy. I think that's going to be enough. I think we're going to be okay. I truly think we're going to be okay right now. So, it's just a case of letting now time take the lead. And seeing if I have enough for the demands that we currently have. Right? It's just a, can uh, a chance of um, now just waiting and just seeing what happens. I could need more. I don't know. I, tr I, I don't truly know. This is the first time I've ever implemented something like this in. So fast forward in anyway. With our beautiful little facility, I think we need to drop down some, some trees. So bring that brush size right down. Bring in the strength right down. Actually, bring the brush size up a bit more. So it'd be nice to get some trees along the walkway of these guys. And we'll kind of go a little bit beautiful around here. Bulk it all up. Uh, but if I up the size right now. Let's get some down the sides of the highway. Because they are treated as like a little bit of a sand barrier. Not enough of these trees will be utilized as a sand barrier. But it just kind of adds that little bit in. Right, is everyone okay here? Are we flowing through okay? Yes. Just it seems to be quite a bit of traffic, boys. But it's all it's all okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So yes, we're gonna see these numbers starting to rise as time goes on. And to be honest with you, do you reckon one sorting facility, like a bundle of it, like there, is gonna be good enough, or do you reckon we're gonna need something a little bit more, kind of localized to other areas nearby? I don't know just yet. I don't know. So they are complaining about not enough goods to sell. These guys are complaining about residents are sick from noise pollution. And that will be down to these guys. Let me, let me, I mean, I know the noise pollution is bad in Las Vegas right now. It, it's, look at the amount of buildings I do have. They're going to feel it. They are going to feel it. I can do stuff to kind of improve it slightly, but even the majority of this will not work. Uh, even the majority of this will not work. I can try and place down more trees as a sand barrier, but even that is quite difficult. Sometimes you can kind of merge them between the buildings, but it's just look at the draw that these guys are stuck here. There's a couple of trees. They're really handy. So you, you can sometimes get them squeezed in. What if I anarchied it? No, you can't even anarchy them in either. Can't even anarchy them. I could maybe tree it this way. Would I get away with this size? Single. A little bit more, yeah. Yeah, it's probably better to do it that kind of way. Um... And just go around the edge of the buildings. There's not a fat lot you can do, to be honest with you. But it's all a little bit of benefit that you can kind of squeeze in. There's not a fat lot you can really do, to be honest with you. There's going to be noise pollution. It is what it is. So, um, yeah, this is interesting then, with the mail stuff. I'm start We started, I mean, last way, just one side of it is completely blue right now. Um, Port Exporto, not too much at the moment. Same with our Rancho. Uh, oh, they've done pretty well in um, Lost Pieces right now. They're doing pretty well there. Uh, Last Chance is doing pretty well too. Yeah, I think as time goes on, we're slowly starting to cover more of these areas. As more posts get delivered. But yeah, I would like to know if they actually um, bring it in via cargo lines. Or, like, do these get onto, the, like, onto cargo places? Like, where are you going? You're just transporting mail, and it has a load percentage. Returning to facility. There's another one just over here. 
Oh, transporting mail to Las Palmas. Oh, they do. They go into the cargo aircraft stand all the way over here. So they actually do. They actually do deliver it outside, which is then going to bring in more cargo via planes and trains and ships and all that kind of jazz. So that's pretty cool to see them. That is pretty cool to see. So I wonder if I should really think about... Well, not doing a cargo line to this area, but making the lines a bit more sorted. Oh, and yeah. Okay, I think I just realized they can actually utilize this road here. I know it's a bus lane, but service vehicles should be able to still use it. I don't know why that vehicle is able to use it. So that's a quick route to get over to here, which is pretty handy. Hmm, interesting. Right, we'll give that a minute or two then to kind of like just run through. And uh, we see what we can get up to. So I need to eventually hook up a cargo line to connect pretty much these guys all on this side. Um, so we can transport goods a whole lot easier. Now, ways in which I can do it is at the moment we have this train line here. which brings them directly down to this cargo area, which comes around... Trains can go from here, down to here as well. But I will need to extend as a bypass line coming round. So I can definitely bring it down here and up. I think what we'll have to do is bring it up to here. Um, of some sort. To bridge it up to connect up to there. So we can run parallel across here. So somehow we're going to have to do some kind of an import-export area for the fishing industry. Because they have, they're the ones that have to drive the longest way at the minute. Which is, you know, kind of bad for those guys. Which bring that across. I don't know how I'll connect this lower point down for the farming industry. Unless, you know. Now, nah, we'll try and figure it out some way. Um, then the line itself. As it kind of ticks along. I don't know whether to kind of tunnel it in. And then make it pop out around here. Because this over right now is just a normal airport. I'm thinking. I mean, no one really uses it. I'm thinking I could build a cargo airport. Or just kind of just create in its place. Just a train stop to allow goods to come in and off as they then get transported further up into other areas. Like, it'll be good if we can get this here connected up to train line too. It all depends on where we can run the lines. Because the, the narrow gaps running through are a bit crazy. But there's nothing stopping me doubling up on the line. You know, using the parallel, parallel tool. Now, I don't want to build the whole thing today. I don't want to build the whole thing today because it's going to require your boy using, like, a gazillion brain cells. Oh, these guys don't even have power. How long have these guys not had power for? Oh, I think we're actually not... You, I, I don't think we actually got enough power in the area. All right, drop a couple of more wind turbines because we're harnessing that green, green energy. All right, that'll be good enough for those guys. Um, right. So basically, if I can run going down there, an additional line. So if I take it to about there. So if I, I need 21 minus 6 is 15 and a 6. So that whole line there, this, this here is enough for a train to wait for the next train to come in. I'll reposition that so we can extend further down and connect in. So that's kind of like a bypass line. Even though it's got to kind of come to there. But we'll see what happens. We want it to then ultimately run up. So if I stick away from 10 and just move to here for just a minute. We'll kind of get it to underpass and connect under. But we also need it to then simultaneously run Right, if I select, can I? Can't even select that train height, can I? Right, I do it myself. We'll go from here. We'll select to about there. Is that running in a straight line? Yeah. To there. The whole of that. <laughs> Could you imagine going down this on a train? That's hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. But set the slope mode from there to 
here and press enter that will then give us that beautiful alignment of the trains tearing completely across this little miniature valley oh it's kind of dope isn't it i like it i like it which that will then run down to connect to this little train line section just there that will underpass to connect to there and now we've got some form of a connection now this is my only issue is this line here it does need to be connected up but honestly i don't know what the best option would be i really really don't i mean i could make it go around here up to there and then bring it back down this way to do some kind of a v connection over there i mean it's so long-winded but for the sake of getting it connected up so we can reduce the amount of vehicles driving around this area. I mean, it would benefit us, but I just don't know just yet. I don't know how I'm going to bring it down to here. This is why I need to kind of dedicate a, a complete episode to kind of doing this. Because um, I need to make sure that I don't overload the majority of the areas. That's what we got to make sure of. But just kind of getting things in place anyway to kind of see where we're going to be heading with this. So it's going to be quite exciting to get it all up and running. Right, a little bit more time has now passed by. What is the mail sitch right now? Ooh, okay. So, places are definitely looking a lot more blue. Yeah, they're definitely looking a lot more blue. What about Port Exporter? Maybe these guys just don't have, you know, all the red buildings, they've just got no friends, so there's no mail to be delivered. <laughs> but what are these little sorting offices saying right now? Oh, we're finally getting some unsorted mail versus sorted mail. So they're slowly bringing the vans all the way back right now, which is interesting. Which you can start to see the majority of all the vans. But that does provide a few jobs though, doesn't it? It does. We're now literally less than 1,300 residents away from hitting the 100k mark, boys. Oh, and all this industrial area over here is all built up too. That's pretty cool to see. So I think that birth rate that we got set up last episode has been really, really handy. Um, we still got a lot of people that we still need to employ, but, you know, it is what it is. Births are definitely up, but so are um, deaths. Births and deaths are slowly increasing, but that's bound to happen. The more population you get, the more likely someone's going to get be birthed or die. <laughs> as evil as that does sound. As evil as that does sound. So it'll be interesting to see what, what part this male plays within the rest of the city build but next episode we are going to look at this train line to get this all hooked up it's pretty much going to predominantly be utilized to from ship end to ship end but at least the whole of this one side has the ability to transport the goods a lot easier because we need to make this uh this wood industry have again we don't have we're not harvesting any wood the whole point of this industry right now was to import wood so we need to kind of take a look at that. We need to be able to import as much as we can. Thus creating this train line. So it gives them multiple import routes. Because at the moment, shipping, can you come over to the air? I mean, they could start bringing it in by ships this way to a, you know, a dock here and it trains it all the way up. It would make life so much easier. Look how many planes I've got flying around right now. Oh my goodness me, what are this airport saying? 131 flights, what's this airport up here saying right now, where is it? This one says uh, 67, holy smokes, we're in demand boys. And this airport here, the passenger one, 22. We are, wow, 185,000 passengers. We have, um, we've sent around. I could increase the ticket, but it does change the attractiveness modifier. How, how low can I take it down? I can take it down to a thousand. So meaning I can take 82 off it. Oh, attractiveness score. No, nah, okay. Well, we'll play right. We'll put it to about there. It means we make a little bit more money. But I don't think it's eventually going to be enough to, um, to make a profit on the airport. It's more just a service at this point. But I think we'll end it for here anyway, guys. More and more stuff is now happening. More and more places are now getting their mail, which is pretty interesting. I still don't see the point of it, apart from creating more traffic for us as it puts more and more vehicles on the mean streets. But it's interesting. We'll see how the rest of it goes. But trucks are now oh, leaving. Well, that one was 100%. 
That's 85. So they're definitely taking goods out, which is interesting to see. We'll just see what ultimately happens. Guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye. <laughs>